Hi everybody, hi James. We're back on the floor here at SHOT Show 2010 in wet and soggy Las Vegas this particular morning. Of course, when it rains in Vegas, they don't know what to do. They all say, well, hey, uh, what's that wet stuff? I'm talking this morning over here with Brenda Valentine. She's known as the first lady of hunting and probably with some pretty good reasons. We're at the Vanguard booth. They make a variety of monopods, bipods, tripods, gun cases, sport optics, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll talk to her a little bit about that here in a minute as well. Brenda, you said don't ask you that question, but I have to. Why are you known as the first lady of hunting? Maybe I was the first recognizable lady in the hunting industry. Back when I started, you didn't see many women out there. It wasn't particularly the political correct thing to be this visible. Yeah. And I like to think that maybe I've opened the doors for a lot of women to get into the hunting industry. And you see more and more all the time. You see products for us. So that is thank one you, reason. Thank you, yeah, everybody for that. And you in particular because of the fact that has been a major stumbling block with the women in the industry is that they have to wear daddy's clothes or they look like a street urchin. Um, you know, our staff is constantly complaining, you know, there's no clothes, there's no boots. Stuff is not designed for the female hunter. And yet, like you, you learn by shooting squirrels and coons, right? I grew up hunting from rural Tennessee. Hunting was a way of life. It was our means of feeding our large family. Mm -hmm. And I'm still doing that. It's still a family tradition with us. And from you know the smallest member of our family to the oldest, we all hunt, mm -hmm. we all eat what we kill. And it's, uh, it's in our DNA. You've got a lot of different trophies that you, you know, have, have taken over the years. Mm -hmm. We were talking off camera about the fact that you said, I couldn't even tell you how many big game animals I have taken. I don't taken. No, you don't, uh-uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you've got, you know, like I said, we see lots of pictures of you with some pretty mm -hmm. nice animals. Mm -hmm. Bow hunting, obviously, is a... Bow hunting is my love, but passion. I do it all. Uh, you know, uh, it, from center fire, shotgun, uh, crossbow, slingshot, crooked stick, it don't matter. If it's in season, I'm out there. Do, so. do you do a lot of target shooting too? Do you put on seminars and things like that? I don't. I used to be competitive in archery. Uh -huh. I have a, some national titles with that, but I don't compete anymore. I go around, I teach other people to shoot. I'm the national spokesperson for the National Wild Turkey Federation. That's what I wanted you to say. And, is, so uh, and why is that a passion? With that, well, we have outreach groups. We have our uh, wounded, we have our disabled hunters. I mm -hmm. work a lot with wounded warriors. I am uh, just announced at this show one of the Mossy Oak Turkey Thugs, and Thugs stands for, for? Today's Hunters United for Good, and the uh, proceeds from that goes to the Wounded Warrior Program. Outstanding. Uh, Outstanding. I work with the women in the, women in the outdoors, mm -hmm. and the Jakes, which is our youth, and so the Turkey Federation they cover everybody out there, so I'm so happy to be able to use my knowledge and experience to help others in that To capacity. keep imparting that information. That's it. That's it. You know, and I, I would imagine a lot of women look up to you from the standpoint that, you know, you had the, the guts and the gumption, you know, to, as you said, go against. It has not been easy. No. It took the guts and the, the bullheadedness and the backbone when I was rejected, when the men say, you know, your right. place is at home having kids and baking cookies until now men come and ask me, how can I kill that old contrary turkey or where's the best place to elk hunt or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever the need may be. So uh, I'm so blessed and fortunate to be accepted by, you know, not only males, but women and everybody out there. So it's been... It's been a wonderful uh, ride so far. Any any books and videos or anything like that I upcoming? I do have a book. Uh, it's called The Misadventures of uh, Brenda Valentine. And the what? The Misadventures. Mis I am not one of these chest thumpers <laughs> that goes around telling you, you know, how to kill a bigger deer or how great I am. But it tells you all the things I've screwed up in the field, and it's just short. So you're willing to admit story. you've probably missed at least oh, once. Hey, right? missing keeps me humble, and people that say they don't miss are lying, <laughs> or they're not shooting one or the other. So yeah, I miss, and those are the hunts that I remember the longest. Mm -hmm. As we wrap this up, tell us a little bit about Vanguard. You're down here uh, today. I am As I said, they make all sorts of stuff. Why? Why do you endorse Vanguard in particular? Vanguard is a 
fairly new product line. They've been in business for 25 years, mm -hmm. but it's been in the photography world, and now they're in the hunting world. They make optics, they make all kind of hunting accessories from bow cases, gun cases, shooting sticks, bipods, uh, spotting scopes, and binoculars. They're, they have a variety of things, and from all what of I it is, is beneficial to me. I mean, I can shoot and use any product out there. I've, I've attained that level to where I can use what I want to, and I've used this all this year. I choose to because it's good stuff, and it's at an affordable That's price. That's what I was going to say. Let's point that out, right. too. You know, right. I, I hate to choose on whether can I go hunting or can I have You're a good set of binoculars. Scope. Yeah. Now <laughs> I can afford to do both. <laughs> you know, and that's a problem, too. Oftentimes you are paying for the name, and yet the optics nowadays are like with if the they're Vanguard, they're good, good stuff. They don't survive very long no. in this industry. Yeah. People would like more information, you know, have questions for you and what have you. Mm -hmm. They can find you on through Facebook. You can find, yeah, I'm on Facebook. You can find out all my information on my website, uh, brendavalentine.com, or you can go to Vanguard and, and, you know, send an email and ask a question there. They're in contact with me, and that's vanguardusa.com. Makes it pretty simple for everybody. Take a standby, everybody. We're going to uh, be back here on the floor of a SHOT Show 2010. Brenda, thanks, darling, for taking the time to talk to us. Good Thank luck you. and stay the first lady of hunting. Oh, I own that title for many years. <laughs> <laughs> and, I know, and, I, and I know absolutely why. Jim will be right back with you.